Hi, I'm Melvin Hartley, a fifth year UWA student, and I'm currently collaborating with Portable Spectral Services, an innovative technology company at the forefront of developing spectral analytical solutions, primarily to the mining and exploration sector. Our research focuses on the quantification of the gray morphology of heavy mineral concentrates using advanced image processing techniques and the latest AI segmentation models. But why are we doing this? In the realm of geological analysis, it's common to find many outdated methodologies that are heavily reliant on manual, on-site inspections and subjective classification criteria. Recognizing this, Portable Spectral Services is leading the charge to modernize and automate this geological lab work. Moving away from older, less efficient methods, Portable Spectral Services is employing modern instrumentation and non-destructive analytical techniques such as X-ray fluorescence analysis to bring both efficiency, but importantly, objectivity to this geochemical quantification. In the pursuit of this, Portable Spectral Services has developed an automated solution for the sample preparation and spectral analysis of their heavy mineral concentrates. A key component of this automated process flow, however, is the high resolution image capture of their heavy mineral concentrate samples. And so we began exploring the idea of whether or not we could leverage this high re these high resolution images and pair them with some sort of software to start defining the actual grain shape, the grain morphology of these individual grains. This grain morphology is incredibly useful in the field as it provides insights into the deposition systems, weathering processes, mineralization, and the distinct chemical compositions of each individual grain. And so if we want to start quantifying this morphology, we first need to develop an algorithm that's capable of identifying an individual grain amongst a much larger collection of them. This identification process is what we call segmentation, and we intend to do the segmentation for every single grain. So how are we going to do or develop this segmentation algorithm? Well, segmentation algorithms can be classified under two different umbrellas of approach. You have your more conventional methods, which are reliant on classic image processing techniques, such as color intensity thresholding, watershed transforms, or pixel-based supervised classification, just to name a few. Your machine learning or deep learning um, approach, however, um, essentially trains a model to segment a particular object from an image by feeding it large quantities of labeled training data. Although these deep learning approaches tend to be more accurate than their more conventional counterparts, they do come at the cost of being quite computationally intensive. And so in light of that, the project approach was to actually develop two separate methods and assess their segmentation ability against one, one another. Now, <clears throat> some preliminary work has already begun in this, and here are some of our initial results. So on the left here, we have our watershed segmentation model, which as you can see is far less computationally intensive than our deep convolutional neural network. Variant. However, that does come at the cost of its accuracy when it comes to particle recognition, where we observed a disparity of about 15% between the true and estimated particle counts. Conversely, our deep convolutional neural network was far more accurate, and we observed that it was far better at making intuitive estimates as to how to define the, the individual grain boundaries in situations where you had a lot of overlapping and touching particles. Now, the beauty of these segmentation models is we walk away with a very accurate description of the actual boundary characteristics of each individual grain. And it is this data that allows us to start doing our morphological quant quantification. And so far, the results of this have lined up quite nicely with what we're expecting from the particular test samples that we've been running. Here are two examples of metrics that we're generating from this morphological characterization. Sphericity, which is essentially an evaluation of how well a grain's shape assimilates the form of a perfect sphere, and roundness, an evaluation of how well a grain's edges and corners assimilate the form of an ideal curve. Now, our project doesn't end there. See, now that we have our grain segmentation map, the hope is to overlap that data onto the mineral maps produced from our X-ray fluorescence analysis. What this gives us the ability to do is associate an individual grain's geometry and morphology data with its respective mineral composition. All of this on a grain by grain basis. 
it is this capability to unlock this much high precision quantitative data for an individual grain at the large scales that we're working at that will bring unprecedented value to the type of heavy mineral concentrate analysis that we're doing here for this project. Um, and with that, thank you very much.